All right, guys. We're gonna get out of here and uh, see if we can't make some turkeys gobble just to figure out where they are. Um, they're right out here in front of me. Is a big block of woods where turkeys have always roosted at, but I've never hunted in there. And I'm gonna try to hunt in there this year. So I'm walking back there right now. I'm gonna see if I can't get one to gobble. And uh, see if I can't find a good spot to sit down down there to hunt from. Uh, I'm not using like a mouth call or nothing. I got a crow call. But uh, anyway. If I find a good tree to sit up against and hunt or get a turkey to gobble, I'll get back with y'all. And uh, if not, I got another couple places I'm going to go to to look. Uh, today's Tuesday. And uh, our turkey season opens Monday. So uh, we'll catch y'all when something happens. Alright guys. I hadn't had a turkey gobble yet. Oh. Um, but I think I found a pretty good spot to hunt. Uh, this tree right here is pretty straight. I'm set up against it, comfortable. And uh, I can see good ways out through there. About 50 or 60 yards in some places. And then I can see even farther down through there. Um, and a lot of times they gobble way off down in there. And there's a pine ticket back there where they roost. So I'm thinking if I can get right here against this tree one morning. I can maybe get one to come in down there. I've hunted that field right there. And seen turkeys. But they won't ever get close enough. So uh, I'm hoping I can get something done right in here this year. Uh, I ain't gonna post this video till Friday. And uh, the day I post this video, and then the Friday I post this video, the next Monday is uh, when turkey season opens. So when y'all watch this, turkey season will be opening for me in just a couple days. So uh, maybe we can make something happen. And uh, I think the reason I ain't got one to gobble there, there's a lot of reasons. It's really windy, and I uh, might not have heard them. And it's raining really hard, and it's pretty cold. It was sleeting earlier, but it's raining now. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna go try a couple more spots and see what we can find or hear there. And uh, there's a little group of pine trees right back off in there. And the turkeys roost back there a good bit. And uh, they fly down and they peck around in these woods and eat and they eat in this clover. And uh, I just blew the crow call. And I thought I heard a gobbler answer me right back there. So I blew it again and uh, listened better that time. And uh, sure enough, it was one. So uh, well, I was going to walk down here and look at spots to set up against some trees. But uh, I'm probably just going to set up in that blind. The reason I wasn't going to do it at first is because it's about rotting and falling to pieces. But uh, I may still get in it because there's really, I mean, there's good trees to get against the cover. But once you get against them, you can only see 10 or 15 yards. So uh, I may just get in the blind unless I find a better spot. But uh, right here they got food and I just made one gobble twice right back there. Uh, he's probably three, three fifty 350 from me. But, uh, I'm thinking since they like to roost right there, probably come in here in the afternoon on opening day to try to kill one. So, uh, I know this spot is going to probably be a pretty good one. And, 
I'm about to go see if I can't do this again in another spot and see if we can't get a couple spots figured out. Alright guys, I just come out here with an owl hoot to see if I can make one gobble that's already roosted. And uh, I got one to gobble right down the other way to my right. He gobbled right back off that way. And there's some trees down there that I can set up against to hunt. And uh, a lot of hens and gobblers too come out at the bottom of that hill to feed. So I'm going to see if I can get something done in this spot too this year. Alright guys. I'm just walking down through here. On some land across the road from my house. Um, I got permission to hunt it. For coyotes. I don't know if he's going to let me hunt turkeys on it. But, um. Alright, then. Um. I've walked down through here with an owl hoot. And I'm getting my cameras that I had set up to see where the coyotes were. Because now that turkey season's getting here. I'm not really going to be worried about coyote hunting, but uh, I've made two different turkeys gobble, and I still got about another mile to go to the other camera before I head out of here, so uh, we'll see if I can make any more of them gobble, and uh, maybe we can get permission to hunt it. Uh, Big doe. I was walking up right there, singer. She's probably about 150 yards from me. <clears throat> I thought she was a buck at first, but uh, I looked through the scope and she's not a buck. Well, she's gonna come toward me now. Anyway. Oh, she's blowing at me. Alright, I got one more camera to check. Or get and take home. I'm taking them back with me. And, uh... That's probably going to be the end of the video. Unless, uh... Make another turkey gobble. So... Y'all subscribe and uh, <clears throat> turkey season opens in three days, so uh, it won't be long, and uh, I'll be turkey hunting on here. <clears throat>